Hi, my name is Marta Bichu. Nice to meet you. My look is inspired by a dove. If it was the end of the world, this is what a dove would look like. Thank you. I guess when I dress up and I become rubella, I feel like my whole personality changes and I get to be me in a different form. Something I never thought I would experience before. And I get to say things that I normally wouldn't say. And it all works out. It just feels like a great privilege to be invited to be part of something so great. And my look today, honestly, just me trying something new. I'm a new queen and I want to try something different. I don't usually show this much skin. I don't really do the glam thing, but it's a lot of fun. And I think that's the best part about drag, you know? You just get to keep doing what you want, try different things, and no one can tell you you're wrong. No, you don't need anyone's validation but yourself, and people love you for it. And I feel great today. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I just love to be me. I'm the crazy thrift shopper. This actually came from my mom, too small to fit her. I just love to mix up like male and female androgynous. I'm kind of my own style, like a lot of vintage and things. And it's just really fun to put together different costume elements and go crazy and have fun. Hi, my name is Daphne Von Ray, and the inspiration for my look today was just sort of like high fashion and, you know, a little bit of, um, I guess, really the 60s. And, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it feels great. I mean, this is what I do 24-7, so it's great to like exaggerate it a little bit, you know, as a trans performer and just have the opportunity to like, you know, be here as like a performer, you know, and not have those lines. <laughs> I'm a performer, I try to do some sort of boy drag, some sort of expression of myself. Very inspired by my childhood, obviously. I am very obsessed with making noise, glam, rock. To, to dress up, it, it feels like we're making history somehow, and it, it feels like I'm, we're part of the right side of history and a great movement. And it's very exciting. Very exciting. Thank you. Well, my name is Thomas, and my look is, my alter ego is Snowflake, and it's something that I kind of created a few years back, and I just kind of perpetuated little by little, and this was a great opportunity for me to express myself. Oh, the Snowflake is just um, pure joy. It's just uh, magic. It's just happy. That's all. Danny T. Uh, the inspiration behind my look today was just kind of, um, you know, what I felt pretty in. Um, I mean, at an event like this, you don't really know um, what's going to be going on. You know, there's so many different queens, so many people from so many different walks of life. You know, people could be coming in ball gowns and people could be coming in bras and panties. So I kind of wanted to do something right in the middle, very my style of drag. Like, I, I very much enjoy the aspect of just being a pretty girl. So that's what I brought today. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, I'm Cherry Serbet, and uh, today I was really inspired by pop art, by Liechtenstein. I wanted to see heavy contrast, and this is what happened. <laughs> it is incredibly empowering. Uh, that was largely the biggest reason why I started doing drag in the first place. I mean, already an artist, uh, painting on canvas largely. But I was so awkward in so many social situations. I felt like this gave me a mask. It gave me something that I could sort of hide behind. It. Maybe a little confidence boost. <laughs> you feel powerful. <laughs> Thank you very much. My name is Sassy, and this look is very rockabilly, kind of inspired. Um, I kind of like that time. 
kind of do different time periods and mix it up and have fun. And I love getting dressed up because I feel like this is my canvas, my body is my canvas. And I love to decorate it and paint it and make it fabulous. And I feel exactly how I look. The inspiration for this look is that girl that writes mean things in the bathroom stall. down. This is my daughter and um, she doesn't talk much but well actually she's a little drunk already. <laughs> it feels amazing to have all of this creativity, this artistry, this passion um, alive in one place celebrating uh, that kind of sense of femininity that is in every little gay boy that we kind of just put on these outfits and these costumes to celebrate it, to bring it to life, to honor it. And it's a pleasure to be around uh, so many creative, artistic people that are uh, just in love with life. We're just a blast from the past, you know, my, my grandmother and your aunt, right? <laughs> we, we just, we love the vintage uh -huh. and it's, it's just all the classic details, everything, the cigarettes, Lucy the glamour. Lucy and Ethel and the whole nine yards, and, and Flo from Mel's Diner. Mary Jean is from the 1940s, I would be from the 1960s, and I just love diners, I love clothing, it's drip dry, uniforms. Absolutely. We have more on under these dresses than a lot of girls have on just as their dress, you know. We just it's have a lot, lot of fun, fun and yeah, you know, we go out. We always go out as a duo, so people know us together, and we just like love a, being here tonight. A living old photograph. Everybody knows us, even if they don't know what that came mm -hmm. from. Even though my cigarette never gets lit the entire evening, mm -hmm. <laughs> but we get lit. <laughs> That's great. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you. Dress up for this? Yeah. Oh God. Oh dear God. Well, it's always a mass panic before, of course. You know, there's the countdown. What do I have? When do I have to be there? And what do I have to do up into the build-up? Um, but there's a lot of excitement. There's a lot of names. There's a lot of fun publicity coming around, as well as just the getting up and ready for the night. You know, there's there's always that. This um, this was um, I saw this uh, print in downtown Los Angeles, and I was like. It almost looks like a poochie. I've got to do it. I've got to have this poochie look like. So, of course, and then I had to have a little jacket, you know, keep my dignity about me. <laughs> For the moment, yes. <laughs> and the hair, it's all black light reactive, so you can see me at night, too. <laughs> yes. Hi. <laughs> Was that it? Oh. Done? Bye. <laughs> I am Phaedra Fair. The inspiration for my look is the gutter. Because <laughs> that's why I woke up this morning. <laughs> um, no, I just don't like shaving and tucking and doing makeup, but I want to feel pretty. So I glue trash to my face and then put wigs on. That's Thank it. You. Thank you. <laughs> okay. That'd be great. Hi, uh, my name is Meatball, and I was uh, created in the dumpster behind the Sabaros in Times Square. I'm a fun-loving drag queen who loves food and sucking dick. <laughs> Hi, my name is Venus Black, and my look was really inspired by about like, I was really going for like a satanic mistress type, you know? And so I just piped in these black eyes and put on some black makeup and pulled a Sharon needles, you know? And yeah. Thank you. Okay, great. Thanks. I'm Alex Durian, known as Alexis Romanoff, and I'm an uh, impersonator of Liza Minnelli for the last mm, 20 years. 
and I'm totally in love with Liza. I've attended so many of her shows, and when I hear this event, I said, I must come in as Liza. Great, thank you. Thank you. Uh, my name is Sister Berante Nose of the Los Angeles Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence. I am dressed like a nun, maybe not the traditional nun like you know, but uh, we are nuns. It is an order of queer nuns, and much in the same respect that religious sisters give themselves to the church, we give ourselves to our community. So we take lifelong vows to take care of everybody in our community. LGBTQ, red, orange, yellow, green, bloom, purple, doesn't matter who they are, we take care of them. And our message, and I'm pretty sure I speak for most of the drag queens here today, but the sister's message is that if there's enough room in this world for us to walk up and down the streets just the way we are, then there's enough room for you to be you. So you go right ahead and be you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Because my friend's a drag queen, and she's like, come over, I'm like, okay. And it's got a little makeup on, I guess. And tell me about the inspiration for your outfit today. Um, just like something black and white, so I just want to look like 90s, cute, hip-hop, but still kind of gayish. It's a cute look. <laughs> yeah. My name is Rita Slave, and uh, my name comes from when I worked as an extra in the movie Stonewall that was directed by Nigel Finch in 1994. I was one of the queens that break out of the Stonewall, uh, break out of the paddy wagon in the movie. Um, my look is uh, inspired from Norma Desmond it's from Sunset Boulevard. It is my passion to wear leopard, so I designed this outfit particularly just for this photo shoot today. And uh, I'm also an author, so I've written a book about my, my life as a drag queen, as a television shopping host in QBC, and just as a uh, out gay man.